This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff so you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data released us is false. Man, it gives us a false narrative to market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, AMC was red. They got it under 250, but what they didn't realize is retail investors keep buying more okay they just averaging down and that is not what the bad actors expected that is not what they wanted they felt that if they pushed that price down amc retail investors would run for the hills but instead they got retail investors averaging down and then they got institutions jumping in the shills are attacking they're upset they don't know what they're gonna do they're hoping that they can convince Adam Aaron to bankrupt the company because they know that the liquidity is almost gone. The banks that are supporting them can't even support themselves. So this won't last much longer, in my opinion. And I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell AMC. I'm just telling you that the bad actors are in trouble. And once the cat system kicks in in May... Tick tock, bad actors. Tick tock. Anyway, here's the AMC numbers. Uh, the volume, reported volume anyway, 15,414,797. You guys know those numbers mean absolutely nothing because we have no idea what's going on on the dog pools and the other exchanges where they, 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 they trade these shares in order to manipulate the price. Calls in the money, 264. It seems like Few less people buying those call options at three dollars additional twenty thousand nine hundred and twenty nine, but they mean nothing to me because, like I tell every day, there will be no gamma squeeze because they don't have to buy the shares in the open market. Fifty nine point two percent of the volume was shorted shares, so like eight million four hundred thousand shares were shorted. But guess what? Where did these shares come from? No blue sheets. No chain of custody, no point of origin that they want to release us. And that's why Citadel, Ken Griffin, and all the defendants in a lawsuit are fighting, fighting to stop the discovery because they don't want to turn over those blue sheets. They don't want to turn over the trading information for AMC because they know it's going to reveal all the fraud and corruption over the last three years. Oh, days to cover 2.92. But this means absolutely nothing. And you know why? Because they give us that data. This data is self-reported. And we know that they lie to us all the time. And when they get caught lying, in five or ten years, they might get a fine. That's one or two percent of the money they made from telling us that lie. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think the bad act of liquidity is running out? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.